I am perfectly hidden behind this cannon statue, and nobody will find me. Ah, oh, wait, my nose is hanging out. Dang it! Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough! Remember this guy here? Well, in the last part, I was sort of hinting that he might have more to say. But how would we extract the information out of him? Well, you've got to have a chat with him man to man. Well, ba-bomb to ba-bomb. No, that's not how it's done. <laughs> you just have to have Bobbery out and then chat with him. What? Did I not tell you we have no silly cannon? Now listen here. You're the mayor, hmm? How can an official like you lie that way? Oh boy, I know I saw a cannon the last time I was here, so do not lie, sir. Shush, you call yourself a bomb? I spit at you. You know rules. There is to be no mention of cannon to non bombs No mention! He is a bomb. We must not allow it to be used for evil. Oh, I see. Of course, I know all that, you great blowhard. But we must use that cannon to get to the moon, old boy. And if we don't, sir, the world could end. <coughs> world could end. Uh, um, well, we cannot have that now. Uh, still, you cannot use cannon right now because of certain circumstances. Circumstances? You must have permission of Gold Bob to use the cannon. He is the one who started the whole blasting things too far away places policy. <laughs> Once he got rich, he let business slide and has not started up again. Also, General White was the one who devoted himself to operation of cannon, but he was so depressed by losing of job that he took cannon at key and left. Hmm. Gold Bob and General White. Da, that is correct. If you want to use the cannon, you must find Gold Bob and General White. Very well, then. We can't give up now, old boy. Mario, let's go find those two. Well, once you find them, come back and talk to me. All right. Let's go and explore. Wait, hold on a sec. I remember, I forgot this in the last part. Uh, I forgot this was here entirely. Look by pervy French guy. Yep, it's an in coupon. All right, now let's move on here. Oh yeah, one thing I didn't know about here. Uh, I was told that at the far rightmost tree there is. Oh, that was a lucky guess. <laughs> There is a double dip partner badge. That's a pretty dang handy item to have. I normally get the double dip partner badge over at the pit of 100 trials, but I guess that's a way to get it a different way. Um, I'm gonna check something over here as long as I'm back to Rogue Port because I might be able to do some stuff now. In fact, in fact, I'm pretty sure I can do stuff now. Yes. All right, Lumpy is back. This is the one that wants to make it rich. That's the one that I invested. 300 coins into way way earlier on in the walkthrough now uh, wh When I talk to him next he'll give me 999 coins, which means that I'll be able to uh, Have a much easier time getting the badges over here at Charlton's as well as the lovely house of badges So let's start collecting the badges over here with our earnings like say oh <laughs> They actually got the I mean he's actually got the slow go badge here. This is a rather interesting one here it's only 12 coins and zero badge points to use. Now, that's, yeah, you're welcome, but, so, so why would you want to get a badge like that? Well, for collector's sake. <laughs> you really actually do not want to wear this badge at all, ever. Watch us. I'm pushing the control stick as hard as I can. Yeah, it quite literally slows you down. That's why it's called the slow go badge. <laughs> All right, let's go buy some more. All right, and Jumpman, it's a reference to Mario's original name in the Donkey Kong arcade game. Uh, hey yo, yes, yes, yes. Uh, this, what it does is it powers up your jump moves but prevents you from using your hammer. So it's a jump specialty uh, sort of badge thingy. Anyway, the Mega Rush badge is another one that you can get from him. Uh, 60 coins. I'm pretty sure this is also an exclusive. I could be wrong, though. Um, nope, not right now. Your stock is a little bit lacking at the moment. <laughs> so what I'm going to go do is go check out the lovely House of Badges and see what they have in stock and see what I can get um, from them. And then I'm going to leave Rogueport to reset Charlton's badges. Uh, let's see, what do we have here? Ice Smash, Pierce... Ooh, Piercing Blow. 
I'm pretty sure that's an exclusive here. I'm one going shorts. <laughs> I can't right now. Oh, unsimplifier. That's it's uh it does exactly what it says there. It makes it harder to do the action commands, but you get more uh, star power for doing that. Um, power rush is a, a pretty dang good badge, by the way. Uh, if you if you have like a power or danger Mario setup, I should say in that you want Mario to stay low in HP so that you can keep destroying enemies like rapidly. Uh, that's also a new badge. I think I'm gonna go for yeah, the Power Rush badge here. All right, now what I'm gonna do is go back over to Lumpy, uh, get my 999 coins, and then I'll be able to buy some more stuff. Yeah, that's why I've been holding off on getting the badges there because it's just simply easier to get them when I'm Rich. <laughs> ah, Mario, it's me, Lumpy. Don't you remember? I went to Dry Dry Desert to drill for oil. Ring a bell? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I... I... I did it! I totally struck oil! <laughs> there are times that I was covered in dust, weak and ready to give up. But, but, but I never lost sight of the dream. And one day, I finally seized it. And you believed in me all this time, Mario. You sure did. Thank you so much. I want to return your loan with just a little more to show my appreciation. Please take this. You received 999 coins! I have I obviously lost a few coins in that, but it's really difficult to go down to exactly zero. Boy, thank thanks for everything. Now you have some capital to start your own venture. Just don't let your dream die, Mario. I know you'll make it someday, just like I did. Alrighty. Wait, 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 wait. Anything else to say? Oh. Ah, Mario, how's it going? Hey, guess what? I kept the journal of my hunt for black gold. It's a little embarrassing. Want to read it? Uh, how many stories do you have? Oh! I'll save this for later. <laughs> uh, oh, I can't B button out of this. No! Alright, I just clicked through it. I'll go through his stories uh, later on there. He'll be there waiting for us when we go back there a little bit later. So, yeah, no, no big deal. Uh, if we don't read his stories now, it's going to show that I read the first one later on because I think they gray out the ones that you uh, read, or, or at least they think you read. Uh, so yeah, well I should say they think you read, that was bad uh, English on my part. <laughs> anyway, back to the bad shop. Alright, let's get that piercing blow badge. Yes. Let's get the unsimplifier. By the way, the badges up on the shelf here are the um, the deals, like they're a discounted badge uh, set there, so that's why I'm getting the ones off the shelves. You can get the rest of the badges that, that you might be looking for uh, if you just say that you're buying for, uh, like, and then you go to others, and then you can see the full list, and I mean a full list of a lot of badges here. But uh, I'm going to wait for them to go out on the counter for me to buy them just so I can get them a little bit cheaper. Anyway, I'm going to go into the Rogue Port sewers now to reset both Charlton's and the lovely House of Badges uh, inventories. So, yeah, let's do it. Alright, Charlton. What you got this time? Uh, hammer Man. That's the opposite of the Jump Man uh, badge. It powers up your hammer, but you lose the ability to jump. Oh, and the W Emblem is in. That's an interesting badge. Yeah, it's just like the Luigi Emblem, it's, except it's... Uh, you know, Oreos. So let's get that. Because it's expensive as all heck. <laughs> yes. Hammerman. You bet. Uh, the other stuff is uh, basically stuff that we already have. It was the boo sheet and the shooting star. Well, I should say we've already had before, and you can get those uh, elsewhere. Uh, likely cheaper. <laughs> His prices are a little bit high, but he has some exclusive stuff, like that W emblem there. Uh, I should actually put that on now, uh, come to think of it. So, watch us. If you put on the W emblem, move the L emblem, there's Wario's clothes. Now, if you go back into them and equip both the W emblem and the L emblem, wherever it is, there it is. They changed to Waluigi's clothes, yeah! <laughs> Isn't that interesting? Alright, uh, oh, this is a really good badge here. 
Yeah, you can just like bump into stuff and you'll get a first strike and it's pretty dang awesome. Sweet! Yeah, these badges are pretty dang expensive. Um, I mean, even with the 999 coins, it's still going to cost you quite a bit and you're probably going to have to sell some stuff. Uh, I've got one of those. Uh, I Do I have one of these? I don't think I have one of those. Uh... I got one of those, definitely. Uh, hold on, let me check my... Uh, badges... Because uh, it was the... I think I've got, as you can see, I've got 65 out of 85 badges, so... I'm doing pretty well here. Uh, yeah, I think this is where... The other badge would be if I had the Power Rush Partner badge. Yes, let's see if I am correct about that. Badges... Yep, yes, yes, got it, alright. Now, let's go reset his inventory again as well as Charlton's. Alright, what you got this time? Uh, nothing new, although that Ultra Shroom is rather tempting. Come on now, man. I, I know you have two exclusive badges here. Here we go. The double pain badge is another exclusive one. It does... Yeah, it makes the game harder. <laughs> but it's yet another one of those sorts of gotta collect them all kinds of badges. In that you gotta get it if you want to get all the badges. Anyway, I'm gonna reset his inventory again. Let's do it again. Yes. What do we have? Nothing new! I know you have an Attack FX badge, and I will get it from you eventually with enough resets. Attack FX, Attack FX, Attack FX, yes! Attack FX G! By the way, the, the letter at the end of them indicates the color of the badge, so G is green here. Alright, 120 coins, exactly... down to 6 coins. Alright, so... I've got all of Charlton's exclusive badges. So that means the rest of the exclusives that I'll be aiming for are at the uh, lovely house of badges up here. So I should probably get working on those, see what the inventory is on that, because I'm going to have to uh, sell some badges in order to actually uh, get some more of these. By the way, uh, this is what the badge sounds like when equipped. Sounds like Princess Peach to me. <laughs> uh, let's see, Power Jump, that's new. Uh, I got one of those, don't I? I know that's new, definitely, definitely new. Uh, that's, I don't think I have one of those. Definitely have one of those. Okay, let's start selling some badges here. I think... Uh, what should I do here? Mm. Oh, yeah, I should get rid of the happy hearts. They're just too slow for my liking. I just don't find them as useful as uh, other badges. And the happy flowers. Alright, I'm at 231 coins now for doing so. Alright, pretty lucky partner badge. Can make uh, enemy attacks miss for the partner. Attack attacks P badge. Yes, power jump, absolutely. And now I've got to reset the inventory. Well, actually, I'm going to sell some more stuff first here, so let's see. You know, I really don't need these attack FX badges, obviously. And you already heard the uh, uh, sounds they have. Uh, oh, wait, wait. Did I forget to... Oh, no, wait, the, the, the attack effect FXP is the new one. I thought I just sold the badge I didn't show off yet. Whoopsie, okay. It's Bowser! <laughs> Alright. Uh, oh, oh, nope, sell. Yep, gonna even sell the Bowser badge. I'm just trying to get my badge inventory up here. You know, of the of new badges to fill out the badge journal. How about the slow go badge? That one's five coins, but I'm never ever going to use that thing again other than that one demonstrative purpose. I'll probably never use the Hammer Man or Jump Man badges either because I like to 
show off stuff, and that would prevent me from showing off stuff, so those have gotta go. I'll drop the unsimplifier badge. Alright, let's reset the inventory and see what deals I can get. Alright, there are two more exclusive badge I <coughs> badges I'm looking for here. The Simplifier badge and the Super Appeal badge. Oh, look at that. This, this logo is up on the shelf already. <laughs> and it's, of course, cheaper than uh, Charlton's price. But yeah, any badges you sell, you can always rebuy re back from the lovely House of Badges. Uh, looks like there's no deals for the badge that I'm looking for. Uh, badges I'm looking for, excuse me. Let's... maybe I'll just buy them in here. Let's see, simplifier right here. And super appeal. There we go. Got all of the exclusive badges from this place. Heck yeah! So that means I no longer have to buy anything from the lovely house of badges unless I want to uh, rotate my stock of badges or whatnot, and I also don't have to buy anything more from Charlton. Yeah! Alright, now that I got that out of the way, because I was able to, you know, because I got 999 coins now, what I'm gonna do from here is go track down General White and Gold Bob. So I'm, gonna, of course, gonna have to use the warp pipes, I mean the shortcut pipes in the underground, to get back over to Poshley Heights. Hey, Gold Bob! It's a me, Waluigi! I mean, uh, Mario. Good day to you, Gonzalez. What can I do for you today? What's that you say? You must use the cannon and fire outpost to save the world. Hmm, well, that is a rather a pickle, isn't it? Very well, then. I certainly owe you a favor or two, hmm? Yes, I should say. The truth is, I had hoped to resume my business with that cannon someday. And just between us, I only stopped because the wife said she didn't like the noise. <laughs> Sadly, it takes a hefty bit of coin to get that cannon working, so I'll need you to demonstrate just how much you want to, to use that cannon. If it were a matter of money, just how much would you be uh, would you pay, if I may ask? One coin. One coin? Do you mock me? Why not just slap me with your shoe and be done? <laughs> this will not do. No, no, no. Why don't you come back later with a new attitude? Alright, let's try 64 coins for N64. 64 coins. You seem to be underestimating the value of my services. Well, I can't abide by... I, I abide that. Why don't you just come back later, hmm? Alright, how about nothing? Something for nothing? Ha! Money makes the world spin. You're a bit naive, I'm afraid. Why don't you come back once you learn a bit about the, the way of the world, hmm? Alright, fine, fine. I'll give you everything I have. What? You pay every coin you own? All of them? You... Uh, uh, really? So, really? Yes. Well, I suppose I'm just surprised to hear you say that. Staggered, actually. You know, that means you'll be left with zero coins. With absolutely nothing. You know that, don't you? Yes, I know that. I mean, think of a man if you spent all your coins, I, I mean all of them, you would certainly face a great deal of difficulty down the road. Yes, I know that. Now, hold on. I want to make sure you're doing this fully aware of the consequences. Are you sure you won't regret this later? Absolutely sure, yes. I can really take them all. Really? You won't say just kidding later on, or any sort of tomfoolery like that. Yes, I'm sure. Well, all right then. And he takes all your coins. Hmm. Well, you've certainly shown me something, sir. So, I'll give you my permission for you to activate the Fire Outpost Cannon. Woo! Yeah! Oh, and I wasn't serious earlier, my dear fellow. How could I take your money? <laughs> it's a shame, I suppose. But I'll return your money. <laughs> So yeah, it only looks like you're going to lose your pocket change. Now soldier on, my boy. Alright. I've got email. <laughs> nope, nope, important things. Mailbox SP, RDM issue 6. Roll port today. An unknown businessman, age 30, was taken into custody by port authorities as he tried to board the blimp carrying large amounts of a volatile red liquid. After a few tense moments, authorities identified the liquid as a spicy condiment, and the businessman was subsequently released. This sounds very familiar. <laughs> our RDM reporters were mystified by the following unsolicited comment. Buy our new hot sauce, folks! <laughs> yeah, it's the business, uh, business mouse back at Glitzville that gives you hot sauce for free. Shop reporter, go! This week you have the pleasure of introducing the fab fabulously luxurious shop on the XS Express, the sales stall. 
The unique boutique on the exclusive train of the independently wealthy just reeks of money, but perhaps the idyllic landscapes rushing past will loosen your purse strings. Say the impeccably dressed manager of sales. Uh, um, he says the impeccably dressed manager of sales. Come on, come all, be you rich or not at all, to our lovely sales stall. He then announced a double point sale for all RDM readers. Just show them this, this screen the next 15 minutes to double your points on any purchase. So go to the Excess Express if you want to double your points on stuff you might need there. I'm not going to do that though, because, you know, why? <laughs> Cooking for rookies. This is it, rookies. You finally made it to the big leagues. Today's recipe is an advanced level one. Today we'll just we'll be making ink pasta. Mmm, that sounds delicious. <laughs> just boil fresh, pas fresh pasta until perfectly al dente and mix lightly with inky sauce. Perfecto! Get ready for gourmet chow tonight. Editors don't. Can you believe it, dear readers? The next issue will be our last. Don't miss it. No! I will forever miss the news articles. But yeah, I'm not even going to bother going back to the XX, S, XS Express because, let's face it here, I've got enough items in my inventory. <laughs> and I also kind of find it funny that Gold Bob was um, saying that he wants to make sure you're not kidding about giving all your coins to him, but it turns out that he was the one kidding you. Now, as for General White, you may recall seeing a certain gray mustached and white bob -omb back over at Pedalberg. That is the bob -omb we are looking for. Uh, I don't... I think it was up there, actually. Uh, we might have something to say about this. Hey, Mario! You're Luigi's little brother, right? That's so cool! I mean, you're cool too, Law, but I just think Luigi is the greatest. Oh, well, there's uh, Koops' dad. I wonder what they have to say uh, now that I'm coming back here with Koops. Is it me? Coops, or are you more toned than before? <laughs> oh, well, you'll grow out of that shell soon if you aren't careful as heart. Looks like you're good work. It look, looks like you're working hard, Coops. Good for you. Don't push too hard, though. If you do, you may find yourself all gobbled up, like me. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, maybe, maybe um, General White wasn't here. Maybe he was back. Yeah, he was over here, up there. Well, maybe. Um, who should I be talking to, though? I kind of forgot. Um, wafer Thin. I, what, did you just call me Wafer Thin? Do you blame me? I mean, you're skinny. You're Wafer Thin. <laughs> I was called a chub by Macho Grubba. I've been playing Paper Mario the Thousand Year. I wasn't sure at first, but that game is awesome. I just beat it. Every chapter. Totally cool ending. I love it. It's so worth the money. I think there'll be a see. Wait, did you say Paper Luigi game? Uh, yep. <laughs> I think I, I talked to him before, but it was long ago, so I kind of forgot. Huh, what? Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, what's that? General White? Oh, he was here a while ago, but he said he was taking a trip, and then he left. Wait, hang on a sec. He did say something about a deserted isle to the south. He was not... He was going... He was either going there or not going there. Well, that's not very helpful. <laughs> well, desert, deserted, deserted island to the south? That can only mean one thing. Keel Hall Key! And I think the one that I need to talk to is you. General White? Yeah, he was here in, until a second ago, but he took off right quick. Said he was going to an arena or something. Glitzville is the place that we are looking for this time, so... If I recall correctly, we gotta go over to the shop? Well, no, not shop, excuse me, the juice place, the juice bar. You can't buy anything here, so it's not a shop. But apparently other people can buy stuff here. You! General Wright? Oh, you must mean that white bob -omb, huh? Yeah, he used to come here all the time, but I haven't seen him lately. Not that I think about it, I think he headed off to some huge tree. Or not. The guy is obviously talking about the great tree, but I just remembered that I should do something before I go over there. And that is to upgrade the final partner. Oh yeah, baby. So here we go. Last upgrade for Bobbery. Yep, down to zero shine sprites, no shine sprites left in the world, no shine sprites in the inventory, it all evens out perfectly. We have a full powered up set of partners now. Yeah! Woo! To the great tree! Welcome to the great tree! I have General White? Yeah, he's an old bob -omb with this great mustache, but I have no idea where he went. He may have said he was going somewhere dark. 
Huh? General White? Uh, yeah, I know that old guy. He's a white babam, right? He was here until recently. What? Where'd he go? What am I, a secretary? He looked tired, I know that. Now, where would a tired person go? Maybe back to their own home? Oh, I've got email! Yeah! Rock, oh no! <laughs> you got my email address! This is the so-called Great Gonzales! Oh, that's me, your worst nightmare! A new and improved Rockhawk! Don't think I forgot you, punk! I'm reborn, you coward! My training recommend will blow your mind! I'm on the fast track back to the top and ain't nobody gonna get in my way! Rock! And still, on rainy days, I feel the bruise your hammer of shame left on this pod, and I feel the rage again! If you ever show your face in the ring again, I'll beat you so bad your mama won't even recognize you. <laughs> Remember the rock! Number one, rock hawk! <laughs> oh, that was entertaining. And yeah, I know it's pretty annoying to track down General White. Because they make you jump from place to place like that, but... It's necessary. <laughs> anyway, let's go talk to the mayor again. What? You cannot find General White? Oh, oh! Hmm. Now, where did he go? <laughs> oh, he doesn't have a white mustache. He's got a black mustache. I was mistaken. This makes trouble for us. We definitely need him. Otherwise, we cannot even operate that thing. So, what to do? Hmm. What to do indeed. What to do. I mean, I can't wake him up. That would just be rude. So... Maybe I'll just let him sleep for a bit and end off the part here so he can have a nice delightful nap because he was probably exhausted after traveling so much. So with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next part. Yoshi circles and now the other way. Oh yeah.